everyone, welcome back to Wales. If you uh, watch this channel, I'm sure you'll be kind of familiar with this project I've been working on. If you're new, been spending some time out here doing some black and white work. Currently large format, that was last week's video, but uh, funny enough, uh, the theme I wanted to tie into this week's video, what I want to talk about is just perfectionism and kind of the dangers of it as an artist and how easy it is to kind of fall into that trap. Uh, especially nowadays. And the funny thing is it couldn't be more fitting. Um, this is something I've suffered from for years. I'm finally like, I guess, committed to figuring it out. But uh, this is day two of trying to make this video. It's currently 5 p.m. I'm in Wales, just got on location. Yesterday I spent the entire day being a perfectionist, trying to find a location to go to. Today I came out way too late, went to a first location, switched it up. So it's very fitting for this video. But what we're gonna do is I'm out at uh, these coal tips or, or slag heaps they're called. If you watched one of my previous Wales videos, I talked a little bit about them. Kind of uh, last minute found this location on a map, but it looks like there's an old uh, pumping house out down this road, about two kilometers of a walk to do. So we're gonna walk out there, got the four by five, got some uh, HP5 and some FOMA. Can hopefully make an image and uh, talk about some things. So let's get out there. So I've been doing uh, YouTube for about a year now, full time. And uh, not that this video is really gonna be about YouTube, more photography, but what's, what's been really interesting is just like coming from like a filmmaking and video production background, uh, I was always like very structured and planned with things, which isn't a bad thing, but the kind of biggest challenge for me lately has been like learning how to adapt um, you know, trying to do these videos weekly, just to like letting things be a little loose, a little more loose, which I think is important, really important actually. Um, you know, I think like production value and stuff like that's good, but at the same time, I feel like it can almost like pull, like have this disconnect a little bit from the viewer. So the biggest challenge for me is like, when I go to make videos like this, for instance, you know, usually in the past, if I only had like a couple hours of light, if things weren't working, I'd just be like, there's not enough time, you know, cause uh, I won't be able to get all the shots I need and all the B-roll, but I'm trying to switch it up and just like be a little more candid and just rolling with it. If things aren't perfect, that's okay. So I wanna elaborate on the photography side of things a little bit, but just wanted to bring that up. For instance, right now there's like, <laughs> the sky is clipping. I can see it right here and it's bugging the hell out of me. And usually in the past, I would have canceled this recording and fixed that and then done this take again. But I'm just rolling with it. I know people really don't even care. Like when I'm watching videos and I see something like that, it usually doesn't bother me. So in the past, I think that's led to me spending way too much time on things, which can lead to roadblock and burnout. And that's the same with photography. And I think what, it, what happens is you stop like experimenting and just trying things as much because you're always trying to make sure beforehand that they're gonna work out. And that is like, not a re recipe for success. It's just not how it works. Anyone who's watching this channel, who's a photographer knows that like maybe one out of five times when you go out, you find an image, uh, not every single time. So this is something I wanna do more of is just like bring you all on these kind of journeys regardless of how they go. So I'm forcing myself today to shoot this, but it does look like a pretty cool location. Let's get down there. I'm gonna talk too much and I'm gonna run out of light. So we're going to go make an image and then we'll jump back into things. But that's going to be the priority right now. All right. So this is very cool. Didn't do much research on this place, obviously, because I was in a rush. I was originally looking at the uh, slag keeps that were way down there where I started and then on the map saw these buildings. So I think this is an old pump house. Like I said, got to do more research, but I'm assuming there was obviously a mine, coal mine here at one point. And it's very cool to see these buildings still intact like this. Even this structure here is pretty neat. Whatever was mounted on here. Cool, this is a spot to come back to for sure. I gotta say the funny thing is, is like my instinct right now is capture B-roll, but obviously uh, lacking time. So I'm gonna put the camera down look for an image to make and then set this back up once, once I got the four by five going and we'll see what we can make. So I think I found one image. It's a start. 
wanted to do something like a little further away, you know, a little like wider composition, but uh, I'm gonna start with this one. It's like a solid profile shot of this one building. So do this and then see if we can find a wide. So like I said, doing a profile shot of this building gonna shoot it on the 180, I think. It's a pretty simple composition just with like a bunch of the foreground that's kind of running on an angle, but I think the light's gonna be pretty cool just with the, the scenes kind of being backlit. Hopefully I catch a moment where there's a break in those clouds because it just like, even right now the ambient light's kind of like edging that uh, front stairway and then also the, uh, the side of the building. So it, giving it some nice shape. And that's gonna be a start, but this location is very, very cool. Open, quiet, and just like endless potential. I'm seeing a lot of images here, so uh, I think this will probably be the next place I come back to. Come back out here in the afternoon with a little more time. Let's see what I can find. Got the uh, Stenopica with me again. If this is your first time watching my channel, the last video I did, was uh, kind of like a first impressions of this camera. So you should definitely check it out. So I think the sun's gonna go below that hill shortly, but there's also a big cloud moving in. So um, I have a feeling I might not be able to shoot this in time to get that nice side light. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna shoot it regardless. Uh, there is an image I wanna make on the way out that uh, I can shoot at twilight, which is good, but fingers crossed I get a bit of a break here. Gonna try and sneak this one in before that light leaves as much as I don't really wanna rush. This will not be an image if that goes. Okay. <laughs> Down to the wire. So spot metering for this one, going to actually the face of the building that's being lit is what I want to expose for. I want everything else to be quite dark other than the sky. So just spot metered actually like the center uh, window. It's a cinder block, so it's pretty close to middle gray and then metered the uh, bright sky, which I'm gonna probably push to three stops over middle gray and it seems to all align just fine. So I'm gonna go with uh, a 15th F22, uh, Ilford HP5 rating it at 320. I'm gonna take the shot while I got that light. Make sure I set my shutter speed first. That would be a good idea. So overall, this image turned out okay. I'm not really that excited about it. I feel like the composition is a little bit too tight. I definitely wanna show off more of the landscape. And I also feel like it's just a little bit lacking. It's not that exciting. But you know, at the very least, it's a hint at the potential that this place holds. And it's definitely given me some ideas to build off of for my return trip. Okay, so I think it's time to backtrack. Gonna go down the road, see if I can shoot like a little bit of a wide. Was liking that, but I think this is definitely a place gotta come back to with a, a few hours to prep. Not 100% sold on this image, but I think uh, there's something here. Just have to have the time to uh, compose it right. Definitely ran out of light quick this evening. Very, very quick. I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to make something out of this video. At the very least, I hope there's a good message. I feel like the image making is uh, a little bit rushed, that's okay. I feel like if I came out to make a video talking about perfectionism and then bailed out because things weren't perfect, <laughs> I'd be a little bit of a hypocrite, so. Rolling with it regardless. Hope you come back. Hope you come back to the channel and watch more of this excellent content. Okay, so it's getting super dark and I figured I'd just stop so I can <laughs> finish these thoughts and have a video, a complete video.
it looks very dark on my face, but we're going to roll with it. But anyways, the reason I wanted to talk about perfectionism in this video today is just because I think if you're a photographer, even if you're a filmmaker, if you're a creative, it's really important to kind of be aware of this especially nowadays, I think more than ever, just with the way that we like share work and consume work online, where like the bar is seemingly being raised all the time. We're exposed to incredible images all the time. People's friggin' blogs are looking like movies. Uh, and we also have access to like the best gear we've ever had for the most affordable prices. And people are like picking apart little details about like this camera has a quarter stop better highlight roll off. And I think it's just so easy to get sucked into this vacuum of perfectionism where it feels like everything you need to do, everything you do needs to be like your next best work. Or you, when you, anytime you go out, you have to create like award winning stuff. And it's just like, it's puts this unnecessary pressure that can lead to this like creative block and it can just stall you. And like I said before, I think the problem with that is that you can miss out on a lot of opportunities where you discover these like little hints and these little kind of signs that point you in a direction that can have like a major impact on your work moving forward. And that just doesn't happen, obviously, if you don't go out and just be curious and explore and fail and have these times where you uh, try and make images and they don't work out. So it all matters. If you're a photographer, you know that like, like I said before, you know, one out of five times, maybe when I go out, I create something that I'm very happy with. Um, maybe one out of 10. So it's just important to keep this in mind. I think it's important to talk about this stuff too. So we aren't in this world where we're losing like a little bit of the like authenticity and rough edges and sloppiness that's so important uh, for everything that we do. So anyway, something that I'm constantly working on, this video is gonna be a very good testament to that because right now in the back of my head, I'm just like, there's no way I'm posting this up. What did I even film tonight? But I'm gonna force myself to do it. And I want to do more, maybe not this rushed in the future, but I want to do these videos where it's just like, I focus a little less on like the perfect shots and more just on capturing the total experience. So anyways, just want to say thank you for the support. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoyed this. They don't always go like this. And if you did enjoy it, it'd be cool if you subscribed, liked it, all that good stuff. Thank you all for the support. I'll see you next week.